Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello, this is episode number three. We're doing the engine swap on the 1980 early Westy Volkswagen Rabbit pickup. My pride and joy. In the previous episodes, you would have seen us take the original CIS 1.6 petrol uh, engine out with the automatic gearbox that's out. Since then, Matt's put the PD 130 1.9 TDI in with an O2A gearbox, which is the code is ASD. ASD with a O2J shifter. O2J shifter. We haven't put the shifter in. No, but we've right got the selector tower in. Yeah, the selector uh, tower is there. It's all bolted nicely. We're just working things out. So that's where we're at at yeah. the moment. Yeah, we're, we're, we're working things out. We're in the thick of it still. In today's episode, we're going to be taking out the dash, taking out the automatic shifter Putting thing. The manual shifter in and working out the pedal box. Yes. Side of things because it's left hand drive. We'll make it happen. Yeah. So even if we have to do it by hand and he has to have a clutch <laughs> like nah. So yeah, join us in today's episode where we're gonna be doing all the fun stuff uh, for the part three of the engine swap. Roll the intro and we're gonna watch him do take the dashboard out. Haha. <laughs> I'll show you how easy it is. Intro, let's go. If you're enjoying today's video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more future videos just like this one. We have a manual brake pedal. They've bent the same as the right hand drive, so that's quite nice. So we're using a right hand drive pedal. So that's the auto brake pedal there on the that's right. The big one. Look at the size of that bad boy. And that's the, the manual wheel. Off it goes, and we'll wiggle it about, and we're in. Tap that in there because it's got like splines in it, so they don't fall out. And yeah, there you go, one pedal. Nice. <laughs>
Where are we at then? Where are we at currently? We've, um, you've taken most of the wiring from the original loom. Yeah, we've got in, we've got engine harness. I put all that back on, tied it, just tidying it up to make it look nice and neat. I'm running a new alternator cable because the original one. Look, look how thin the wires are. Mm -hmm. So that one's your your light wire. So we still use that, but that goes to the battery. So we'll take that out, and we'll just run a new one a large one off of Mark IV, but we'll go straight to the starter motor and then it goes from the starter motor to the battery. So yeah, just makes it, keeps it tidy. And then mm -hmm. we just tidied it, we just cable tie it up, make it look nice and neat. I did off camera, just lay the engine loom in, drilled a hole in the bulkhead. And then the ECU's going up in the bulkhead underneath the rain tree. And then I'm just slowly laying out the loom to make it look nice and tidy. Run the loom in for the throttle pedal on that. And then a few lives to the ECU and then uh, yeah she should uh, well see if she cranks because uh, I won't be seeing Chris till hmm. yeah the next day will be tomorrow yeah we'll be seeing Chris but we'll see if she cranks and everything we may have a cheeky little still of my ECU off my T4 just to see if she does fire but we've got to drain the fuel yet yeah and, and make some fuel pipes up so we're on the third day now and yeah it's pretty it's looking more yeah legit Craig's coming tonight to help do the exhaust and the pedal. So then, and then that means it's a job for you there. You can put the interior back in. Yeah, I don't mind that. <laughs> We've got electric fan on its way. Yeah, you ordered a yeah. slimline fan. And now we're gonna drain the, the petrol. We're gonna empty the gas out of it. <laughs> cool, man. And put diesel in it. Diesel. Diesel. Put a dirt diesel in. No more gas. It's gonna be it's a not gonna diesel. be gasoline. It's a diesel pickup. It's a diesel. Did you know, like, this is a thing which not many people, I suppose not many people either give a sh either. In America, if you look at all the advertising, all the commercials, all of their posters, there's nowhere that says that this is a rabbit pickup or a caddy. At no point do Volkswagen call it a rabbit pickup or a caddy. A new Volkswagen pickup, a new Volkswagen pickup. Drive a Volkswagen diesel pickup. This diesel engine is what makes the Volkswagen Rabbit and pickup the best mileage 81 car and truck in America. Introducing the new Volkswagen diesel pickup. Now I know there's a huge debate online anyway about, it's not a caddy in America. And I'm one of those people, I don't think this is a caddy. Although most people probably look at this in the UK and think, I used to have one of those when I was a Kia door up. When I was yeah, it's the age. same shape though, isn't it? It's the same shape, but it doesn't it's really... Like, it's like European cars though. You know, you look at Vauxhall and Opel. Yeah, the same, same family. Yeah, same family. And some things like, in some Opel, like Astra's and that, yeah. would have come with a, a 16 valve in this country. They never did, or they didn't come until later in life. Yeah. I just thought that was interesting and that, you know, if you check, even check, yeah. the check, owner's check, manual, which we've got one upstairs, at no check, point does it say rabbit pickup, which I just thought very interesting, mm -hmm. but I'll still call it a rabbit pickup all day long. <laughs> As you guys will see and probably remember if you go a few videos back that we did the undersealing, we undersealed the truck Unsealed. not long ago, that's why it looks the way it does. So we've got, what we've got here, we've got a, which one is the pump? Fuel pump and... It's a regulator or a, I can't remember what it's. Accumulator. Accumu yes. Accumulator or accumulator? It's accumulator, I don't know, one of them things. One of them, but that's, yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. We won't destroy that, because someone might go, oh, I want one of them, but that's leaking. Is it? Yeah, see? Leaky, leaky. So we're, are we not using these? Nope. This okay. is electric fuel pump. It's all coming off. I know you said about how it doesn't need a fuel pump, but if and if it does, we've got this, right? No, nope. it's too powerful. It's too powerful? Yeah, that blows the pump apart. Hello, Jerry. Do you know why they call it a jerry can? Why do they call it a jerry can? I think it's something to do with the Second World War. Thanks to the Germans, I think, they why they call it a jerry can. Really? 
I thought it was that is a German design. I think that's a German design because Americans made them as well. Yeah. I think they were screw caps. I may be wrong. Was it not just some guy called Jerry who just thought there no. should be I've broken down on the side of the road, but there should be a <laughs> no. should be like a suitcase that I can take to the servo. No. So I can get a get a little touch of fuel that will get me to the actual station. No. 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 It was a military thing. Oh, yeah. There yeah. she goes. Ooh, hot I guess it's like you said, like the amount of diesel that we'll put in will dilute the petrol, any petrol yeah, left in. Yeah, because when you... Um, People fill their cars up with fuel. Mm. You're never going to get it all out of the tank. So you just... Like, if you put like 50 quid worth of diesel in, what's ever in there now, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. On old engines, old diesel engines, you can mix, you can run it on engine oil. Yeah. But you instead of mixing diesel with it, you can mix petrol with it. So you don't have to use so much of the expensive stuff. Oh, right. I suppose before any rats comment saying, oh, it's a bit dangerous. We, are, we have the facilities to clean everything up, don't worry. You never know. You never know what kind of people are watching, but... La, la, la. Get the old Vagcom out. Vagcom. Yes, box up and software. Volkswagen software. It's alive. It will be blocked mobiliser because we've got to get that taken out. Got to wire up the map sensor, pressure sensor. In theory, put diesel in it at the start. Really? Yeah. Wow. Cool, man. See the manifold intake temperature and manifold pressure sensor. The uh, that'd be the map sensor basically, and that just because it ain't connected. Oh, and the throttle pedal's not connected either at the moment. Yeah. Or the pedal. The wiring's there. I've started doing the wiring for that, but the actual pedal's not connected. Sweet man, I suppose we better take a, another jerry can and go to go to a fuel station. Yeah, let's go and get some diesel, I think, is the answer. Alright. <laughs> What's in the box? Your fan. Your only fan. <laughs> Ooh, hot damn. So that will be mounted to the front of the rad because that bad boy, he's just too damn big. Oh, nice. Things are moving smoothly. Oh, here we go. Drink up, baby. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for, will it run? Let's find out. In the next episode, we'll see you then. Turn up the 80s, sounds of the 80s, Rhapsody, the greatest say the day my mama made me 99 problems, why I don't look or sound like Jay-Z, I'm lazy, won't sit in a grave, my